Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Ardor. Uh, this is by Thaddeus Cyrus. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And it's completely free out on Steam. Uh, you can go take a look at it yourself right now. Came out um, earlier this month, it looked like. Uh, it's a. <clears throat> it's a. What kind of. I'm going to say it's a puzzle game. Um. Though not in the traditional sense. I guess maybe it's closer to a strategy game. Like a strategy sort of puzzler. Essentially, uh, you ha have a, a board of hexes and uh, you're given a, uh, a hero hex and uh, you have to take out all the enemies uh, using a deck of cards that uh, get shuffled in. It's uh, it's pretty interesting, uh, and it's fairly straightforward and simple, but it, it's uh, it's elegant too. Like you, there's you know you have to put a little bit of thought in um, as you go along, and it seems to have a gentle curve so far. Although I haven't done too much of the game, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna dive in, and uh, I'll give you you know half an hour uh, of the game. Probably don't even need that much. You'll get it, you'll get the hang of it. Uh, pretty pretty uh, straight away here but let's go ahead and get the timer started and I've already done a tutorial so let's go back into the levels here all right so um the object here so uh, you can see it's it's restored uh, my my game that I was doing here I'm on level two this is the first turn um, I've got nine health normally you'd have 15 up here uh, but I've been uh, you know this was where it saved me last um, and actually, it saved my progress, sort of, and then, um, yeah, I mean, you kind of do runs and stuff. I, I don't know. It's it's interesting. Uh, anyway, the idea is to uh, take out all these enemy hexes. This is my hero, and here's all the enemies. And you can see what kind of damage they do uh, around them. Like, he does four points of damage around him. Uh, this guy does six points of damage around the outskirts of the board and, uh, so on and so forth. This one will buff, uh, friendly units for three armor. That's the, uh, armor is in blue. Um, and same with uh, still all of these inconvenient wizards are buffs. You also see that they, uh, when you take them out, they give you three teeth and teeth are the currency of the game. Uh, you use that to, uh, in between levels, uh, buy new cards and, or, well, it's really not, you're not really buying cards. You're like upgrading, use them to upgrade your cards to, you know, the next level. Um, here's all my cards that I, I've been dealt. Um, green ones are movement, red are attack. The attacks happen in certain directions. Like this only attacks north, south. This only attacks southeast northwest uh northeast southwest on this one so you got to move around to get into even an attack range to do things um the diamonds underneath i believe uh show um how many uh buffs you have on the card or how many yeah how many like different actions your card does like this one does like a an attack and then i think the white diamond means you know draw a card the uh, same thing over here Green diamond means movement. So as you upgrade your cards, you might get additional diamonds on them uh, of different colors that do certain things. Like you might have an attack and a move kind of thing. Sort of. Um, so that kind of thing. Uh, I've only got 9 health left. Normally have 15. And I have 5, um, I guess, movement points or action points. Uh, each The diamonds are at the top of the cards show how many action points they take so all these take one except for this one which takes two so um so i think the first thing we're going to do is so i need to do nine damage to one of these guys because these guys are going to buff so it would be behoove me to get rid of the buffers quickly i would think um so uh I need to do nine damage to them. 
This does uh, five damage. This does five damage. And this does five damage, but they're all different directions. But we'll need to move around as well. So I guess what we'll do is we'll move one up this way and we'll attack this way, which will draw a card. There we go, we have three points left. Uh, poking knife, hit an adjacent hex two times for three damage. That, that would be enough to take it out. Uh, Lung sword. That's five damage there would also be enough to take it out. What does this do? This takes two, so north south. Um I wanna kinda of get up into this corner so I'm not although this guy attacks the corners. There's gonna be a problem because I'm gonna take damage if I go into that corner, because he's got all the corners. Uh, handled right now. Um, so I want to be able to, like, this takes two, but then I want to be able to get out of range again. Um, I'm not going to be able to if I continue attacking that way. So I guess. Can I do, where can I go here? That still attacks. Yeah, I don't think there's really anywhere I can go. There's nowhere I can go over there that will do anything. So I think my best bet is to do this. And then uh, do this for five damage. All right. And next turn. Okay, they've got 12 armor now, which is not great. Um, and I'm going to take 4 damage unless I move uh, by the end of the turn. So, uh, let's see. We have charge. Charge straight in any direction um, into an enemy, dealing 4 damage for every hex you moved. Uh, so that's something good to keep in a back pocket. Poking knife. Um, so do I have something that will attack that way? I don't think I can get into range of that. Jason hexes. I don't have a lot of movement. Well, this goes... Southeast or northwest, so I guess I do. So if I go this way. Um, four damage for every hex you move, so it's uh, B, B8. So you can actually click on it and then get a preview. It's only four, that's going to do. Um... could wind up and just like knock this guy silly here a little bit could move uh, this way it gives me three points this only takes two so what I can do is poke this guy and then after this one, which will give me eight points of damage against him. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this one uh, does a boop and a punt. So it will hit an adjacent hex for two damage and then knock it back, knock it to hostiles three hexes. Um, 
I kind of want to do that just to just to move this guy out of range here. Now, if this guy was up one more, it would actually do additional damage because it would knock him into him. But right now, I'm just happy to knock him away. Although I did more damage, <laughs> I have a freaking do more damage now. Uh, there is an undo, right? Yeah, so there's an undo. Um, I think it, it redoes the turn, actually. Um, which is good. Although, I think gave me different, they gave me different cards. No, I gave me the same ones, I think. Okay. So... I have five damage. You got nine armor. Hmm. I draw a card. Let's go up here. And oops, that's not the one. This one here. Jason Hex, two times for three damage, so six damage. Hmm. Problem is, I can't uh, have to move in such a way that I am not taking damage. And every one of these texts is going to take damage. <clears throat> um, and six damage is not going to be enough to kill this guy. So basically, I mean, I got to kill this guy, but I'm going to take damage regardless. I'm taking damage from this guy down here. So I guess it doesn't matter at this point. We're going to take damage. Let's just get rid of one of these guys. There we go. Alright. Take that damage. Three health. Great. Uh, let's see now. So this is good. Charge in a direction. It'd be useful if I could get to a other thing here. Um, I move this way and I do a charge down here. And then I just got to kind of move out of range. It's not that that didn't. Like, I gotta try to move out of range, but I, I ran out of points to move out of range. Because this takes two. I think what we gotta do is go down here. And then go here. Get out of range of all that nonsense. Okay. 
that. All right. Uh, hit adjacent hex for two damage and push them away. No, I'm away. Um, I'm gonna come over here. I can do this. Knock that guy out. Else I can do though. Alright. Oh. Yeah, they keep getting like shields back too and everything. Which is unfortunate. Six damage, well, not enough. Overcome anything. I'm down here, and I can kill for six damage, even though it just needs to get buffed again. I can do this. Knocks me out that way. Oh, but then that puts me in a, in danger. Huh? Okay, that doesn't work. I mean, if I come up to this other guy, the problem is I don't have a. Have this. I don't do much, so I guess I can just do it against that guy. Um, I don't want that. Poking knife. And down here. Do that. Hit both of them. And that's all we can do. This guy can't attack me right here, right next to him. Uh, okay. So, this guy can, though. Um, push straight in any direction. Four damage for every hex you move. The eight down there, uh, which doesn't do much. This he's got nine. So can I do that way? That goes that way. Down the four. The one. Uh, hmm. That way. That way. So, oh, there we go. One down. Out of hell. But I could now get to these other guys that are buffing. Probably should have been taking them out in the first place. You know what? Let's go. Let's revert that. 
Let's go. Hmm. I need to do these just to draw the cards. Okay, never mind. I guess that's the best we can do there. There. And yep, yeah, we'll sit there for now. I guess we'll have to do what I could do. Move this way. And then we can go up here and kill this guy outright. There we go. That's that. So we're gonna do that turn. Um There, move down here, this guy, a couple times, um, anything else right now? Lasting wind knocked him away. Uh, gotta go. I'll maneuver around somehow here. I don't really have any cards to maneuver with. This does do a draw, though. If I could get an attack out of it. I guess I gotta go like this. Uh, this. And that. And I gotta get out of danger. Okay. So if I move down here, I do my charge. Where's that guy? And then I'll move down here. Hmm. This guy's only got one health left. And I don't think he's I mean, is he still yeah, he's still buffing, but I need to really do something here. Hmm. I don't think there's much I could do. Draw a card. Two hexes. I don't think that's going to work there. Yeah, it's too far away. Him away. Well, no, I can't move to, to do anything, really. I can do charge straight, but I don't think this will... Yeah. I could do that. It's going to take all my power, though. 
Uh, so we're going to not do anything that turn. Uh, okay. This way, back that way, and then we'll move out of range, because we're out of points. Uh, that guy back. Actually, you know what? Poke a knife. Him. There we go. All right. <laughs> Another level down, but almost no health left. Uh, and here's where we use the teeth that we've collected to do some upgrades. Um, so we can do... An upgrade. So all these, all these numbers are different colors. And each color determines how much, how many teeth it requires. I think green requires 10 teeth, green numbers. And then I, I forget what the other ones are. So this one here, here it is. Green costs 10, blue is 20, purple is 40, gold is 60. So it depends on the numbers. If I wanted to draw like two cards, I would need 60 teeth, right? So you can see how how it goes, which is a very interesting and neat way of having it having it do upgrades and stuff. Um, I'm gonna say let's do uh, do three hexes for six damage on that one, and that's only that one card. We still have the other card that's. Well, the old the old values um and this one oh, those are purple i'm not gonna be able to do that uh let's get this one to do five hexes move there we go puts it in line with this one all right good you and now we're on to level three uh slightly different here what are these guys gonna do Roger Carrows moves up three hexes towards the nearest hostile. Uh, hits these hexes for four damage. This guy does buff. Arrow spray hits in every direction. Alright, so if I can take out the buffing guy, it would be pretty decent here. Or he can buff anybody. Here. Get rid of him so he can't buff anybody. And then we're safe. For that turn at least. Fortunately, they're all closing in from every side here. Um, hmm. Can like any friendly units are within five hexes gain seven armor. This guy's doing some buffing too. Uh, a bit rough. Oh, and that wizard does buff as well. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of buffing going on here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll knock them back. And can move. I 
move up one this way. Do some damage here. And then I'm actually on a hex that isn't going to be damage. Uh, but that said, so let's move out a little bit from where we're at over here. Yeah, about, about it. Uh, and just next two times for three damage. Merge into an enemy. Um. see here. Is there anything? Hmm. Not a particularly good way of doing this, but let's move up here. Uh, let's charge this way. And use our poking knife. Him. Go over just one. Stick of it. Uh, yeah. Let me nice and surrounded here. Um, nothing stored. Nothing stored. I'll draw a card on this and I'll do five damage to both of those guys. That's probably good. Hmm. What can we do here? Um, five damage to that guy, which is not that big a deal. to do is make some room for myself so let's go knock him out a little bit I'll move here down here so I don't take any damage. Alright. North south on that one. Poking knife. Uh damage. Not on him, but not gonna be enough to get rid of him. This goes north or south, so if I get rid of him, then that opens up my north escape here. Um, while I'm here, that's just a one pointer. So while I'm here, and this will draw a card, I can do some damage to this guy. Draw me anything too crazy, but let's get out of danger. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll stay up there. Oof. Maybe staying up there wasn't a great idea. Uh, but we did get Blasting Wand. Long sword, five damage. Um... Six damage, we can take out a couple. Got that one on the right here. Opens up our path there a little bit. 
is nice. Um, uh, I could do five damage there, I guess. Rolls me another card. Damage to him. Is this a one pointer? Okay. And then we'll knock this guy out, which will actually take him out because he'll do two damage when he hits the, the edge of the map there. So, boom. And then escape danger. There we go. Okay. So. This is back that way. Hunt. Um, does five damage, so I'll take him out. Uh, all right. Come here and. Wait, no. I did that wrong. Hang on. Um, pick this guy out like a dude. Northeast, southwest, right? Hmm. I need to move here and do that. Um, yeah, then we just gotta get out of, out of damage range. Okay. We got 10 points left. Gotta make sure I always get out of damage range. I don't have a whole lot of movement here. You have charge. Uh, I don't think. Well, he's got ten. This does four damage for every place I go, right? That'd be four. I think that's only gonna do four damage if I charge down that way. Six. Problem is, I won't be able to get out of the way. Um, this will do six damage across the board. But, I'm, again, I can't get out of the way of him. Hmm. Can't really do anything this move, can I? I don't think there's a way to like discard and re and redraw. You're just kind of stuck with what you get. You know, let's just pull that turn. Um, here. And I have all the movement. Alright, let's do that. Crap. It wasn't. Close enough. There, up there. Five damage. Wait. 
I kill him? Nope. Go there. Three damage there. Um, okay, this will work. Do this. Do that. Boom. All right. Jeez Louise. Uh, just by the skin of her teeth. I'm still at five points now. Uh, which is good. I don't know if that, I don't know how you get more health. Um, I don't know if it's even possible to get more health or not. Um, from, uh, maybe it goes up each round. I, I, I couldn't tell you. Anyway, uh, we have some upgrades we could do. Um, I think, I think one of the more important upgrades, uh, can I upgrade this? This is 40. Let's do four damage on that one. How do I still have 37 teeth? That's interesting. Oh, it's only costing me 10 for some reason? Even though it says purple costs 40? Okay. I think that might be broken. Because that's, uh, that's def these are definitely purple numbers, but it's only costing me 10. So, I think there might be a bug there. <laughs> I think they have, like internally those are showing up as green numbers instead of as purple numbers. Because uh, otherwise this is like super OP now. Because I can just keep going like, oh, I'll hit, you know, 10 times for three damage. It'd be like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> sure, you can do that. Um, but anyway, uh, this has been... A hue setter. Oh, you could change the different colors. You can see them. That's cool. Uh, it automatically saves too as you go around. Uh, but this, my friends, has been Ardor, and it is by Thaddeus Saris. It is free out on Steam, so you can go just take a look at it for yourself. You don't have to plunk any money down or anything. Just see if you like it. I I think it's I think it's charming. Um, and I kind of like the way it, way it does things. It, it's, it's sufficiently like it's strategy and it's also like a little puzzly too. Um, you know, uh, because the, because of the way the cards work and stuff. So, uh, I think it's rather fantastic, my friends, and you should probably go take a look at it. Uh, but as always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.